So in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock up to 70% of all RTX 30 series LHR cards mining Ethereum. Now this will just be a quick explanation, but I'll have a full guide down the road. So stay tuned. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Lifeboat Miner. Okay, so starting with this quick article from WCCF Tech, it does stay right here. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 LHR series mining performance partially unlocked with NB Miner update, up to 70% of maximum hash rate. So scrolling down a little bit, it does state a new update published by NB Miner seems to have partially bypassed NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 30 LHR series mining hash rate limit. In the change log, NB Miner reports that users can unlock up to 70% of the maximum hash rate on their LHR graphics card, which could put miners to purchase the LHR series, hence leading to another supply shortage. So I did already do some quick testings on MB miner, and it is true, you can unlock up to 70% of the maximum hash rate mining Ethereum. Okay, so now scrolling down, you'll see the new change log for MB miner version 39.0. So it states right here, feature FHash new LHR mode for F mining on NVIDIA RTX 30 series LHR GPUs, supports Windows and Linux, able to get about 70% of maximum unlocked hash rate. This mode can be turned on by argument dash LHR only works for F hash right now dash LHR default to zero meaning even if dash LHR is not set LHR mode with dash LHR 68 will be applied to LHR GPUs if certain GPUs are detected tune LHR mode by setting dash LHR value a specific value will tell the miner try to reach value percent of maximum unlock hash rate example dash LHR 68 will accept to get 68 percent of hash rate for some model non LHR GPUs. Higher dash LHR value will result in higher hash rate, but has higher possibility to run into lock state, which will lead to much less hash rate. A good start tuning value is 68, which has been tested to be stable on most rig configurations. Dash LHR value can be set for each GPU by using comma separated list. Dash LHR 65, 68, 0, negative 1, where negative 1 means turn off LHR mode. So depending on what you put after the dash LHR, you can expect up to that much percent in hash rate increase. Now I personally tested dash LHR 68 and 68 was the most stable. Anything above 68, I was actually losing hash rates. Okay, so now let's pull up NB Miner. So you can actually just click on this link right here and then go ahead and click on download here. It'll pull up the download page of NB Miner version 39.0. Now I did read all the change log, which was in the article before. Now, one thing I do want to mention is it does stay right here. Known issue, unable to unlock LHR hash rate under Windows driver 471.11. So if you download the most recent driver from Nvidia, it's actually newer than this and it will work. Now scrolling down a little bit, you'll see mbminer-39.0-win.zip. Go ahead and download this. Now it's gonna come up as a virus. So what you wanna do is go to your download page or click on show all and go ahead and keep dangerous file and then keep anyway. Now make sure you disable all your firewalls and create an exclusion folder, or you may have difficulty downloading NB Miner, but I'll have a full guide on that down the road. Now, once downloaded and extracted, you'll see all the bat files for NB Miner. Go ahead and go to start underscore f dot bat and you do wanna edit your bat file. So right click, and click on edit. Now it's gonna pull up a notepad and once you're here, go ahead and change your pool right here and your wallet address right here. And I'm gonna name this test. And then at the end, make sure you put dash LHR space 68. Now on my 3080 Ti, 68 was the most stable. Anything higher, I did lose hash rates. Then go ahead and save and then run the miner. Now, because I am recording, I am gonna lose a significant amount of hash rates. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to a scene recording from a camera. Okay, so now switching over to my camera. Now the visual is a lot worse, but this is in order to show you the maximum hash rate mining Ethereum for now. Now the hash rate does start a lot lower, but with the overclock settings I have, and I'll show you that next, the hash rate did fluctuate between 81 to 83 mega hashes mining Ethereum. Now originally the RTX 3080 Ti is supposed to get around 65 mega hashes mining Ethereum because of the limiter, but because of this unlock, I'm able to get around 81 to 83 mega hashes. So let's check this out. Okay, so this is the overclocks I set for my RTX 3080 Ti. 
Now I did do some quick overclocking, so there may be some better overclocks for the RTX 3080 Ti. So I put the core clock at zero, the memory clock at plus 1,500, and the power limit at 78%. So with these overclocks, my RTX 3080 Ti was getting around 81 to 83 mega hashes mining Ethereum. So last but not least, let's check out the profits mining on the 3080 Ti with the new hash rates mining Ethereum. Now I did put all the other hash rates mining other coins for the RTX 3080 Ti as well. And just be aware that profits do change daily. It's depending on the price of Ethereum, the difficulty and the block rewards. And as of today, the price of Ethereum is $3,157.89. And for Ethereum, I'm going to go ahead and put 82 mega hashes for the F hash algorithm. And I'm gonna go ahead and calculate it without the electricity cost for now. So this is before electricity. Okay, so now checking out the profits, it does still look like Ravencoin is the most profitable coin to mine on the 3080 Ti, making around $8.42 a day before electricity. And it also looks like Ergo is still more profitable to mine on the 3080 Ti than Ethereum, making around $6.96 a day before electricity. But for Ethereum, getting around 82 mega hashes, you should be making around $6.26 a day before electricity and i will have another video testing the rtx 3080 ti in full details including the electricity so stay tuned for that video so in conclusion these minor programs were able to unlock more hash rates even though it was an lhr card so that just means in the future it is definitely possible to unlock the full hash rates on the lhr cards mining ethereum we just may need to still give it more time but only time will tell so in the future, it may not even matter if the GPU is an LHR card because eventually the hash rate limiter may be bypassed. But let me know your thoughts if you think that is possible. And if you do have any LHR cards, let me know what hash rates you're getting and what overclock settings you're using to help other people with LHR cards in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll also add the link to the article and a link to download NB Miner in the description below if you want to check that out. All right, so there you have it. That's basically how to unlock up to 70% of all RTX 30 series LHR cards mining Ethereum. Now, this was just a quick explanation, but I'll have a full guide down the road, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always, Happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.